Yep, you guys happy? Hey guys, it's me, Andrea, and today, woo, green screen is back. But you guys are really upset that the green screen was gone. It needs to be said that when I first started doing my Vampire Diary recaps, I was doing them on my MacBook. It's how I've always done my videos. I've always done them, like, on my MacBook, but then I started doing them on this camera, and I was like, oh, the green screen, that's a nice little effect to it. I'll do it like that. And then I stopped because I was out of the country, and then I came back, and I was just being really busy. But I just want you guys to know that I can't always do this. That's just a little disclaimer is that to like keep in mind that I can't do my recaps always this way. But I will try the more that I can. I'm sorry if I'm not making you guys happy by not doing this. And yeah, let's get started with this recap. The episode is going to start off with flashbacks of Liz and Caroline. It's really, really cute. I love the flashbacks. Um, I just thought it was kind of sad. She's like, are you going to die, mom? And I'm like, girl, what you talking about death at this age? Like, mm. Then we wake up in the flashback, and it's a sleepover at the Salvatore house. Everyone slept over. It's kind of awkward. A little bit. I don't know. Everyone's sleeping over. I don't know if I was the only one who thought that was a little bit awkward. The conversation between Damon and Carolyn was so real and so sad at the same time. Like, he's like, this isn't your worst day. Like, tomorrow, next week, anything can be your worst day than today. And I'm just like, I'm like, not okay with how Damon's talking to Carolyn right now. There was a scene that I just loved the way it was filmed. I loved the scene that, like, Carolyn and um, Elena are leaving to go, like, look for caskets or whatever. And Bonnie, like, walks right past them because she's going into the Salvador house at that time. I don't know why I thought that was, like, so freaking cool. Bonnie gets into that house. She's like, yo, I got my magic back. Everyone back the F up. Here's the main witch right here. I was like, oh my god, buddy, I'm so excited. Okay, can we talk about the flashback with Stefan and Damon? I want somebody to explain to me that. That was Damon, because Damon looked younger, but he was himself. And Stefan was a little kid. So how many years apart are they really? Like, I'm like so confused on that. Like, is Stefan really 17 and Damon's like 100? I was so confused on that. Like, I didn't get why, like, Stefan was a little boy and then Damon was like old. Like, I want to know the real difference of their age, because that was just like really confusing to me. So if you guys know how many years apart they are, let me know, because I was like pretty confused on that part. Okay, can we talk about the Kai and Joe situation? Oh my god, I love This was such a good episode, and I just like, I'm realizing that I'm putting everything together in my head, and I'm just like, oh my god, this was such a good episode. Kai is sick, right? And he's like dying, he has these bags under his eyes, and he's like, I'm a zombie, I'm on the wrong show, I should be on The Walking Dead right now. And uh, Joe's like throwing up the Thai food, and they're like, oh, it's because you didn't merge together. Like, you guys are both sick. Like, no, it wasn't the Thai food. You guys are both like, it wasn't your twin, you were dealing with the wrong twin. And then uh, Kai's like, yeah, so I need your blood, Joe. And then everything will go back to normal. You're not going to die. I'm not going to die. We're all good. She's like, I don't want to give it to him. And he's like, I don't want to give it to him. And then she gives it to him. And they're doing the power thing. And I'm like, he's whispering something to her. And I'm like, oh, my God. He's going to be like, you're going to die. Like, you're going to die. Like, that's the end. Like, I have your blood. You're dying, Joe. Like, in any like second now, you're just going to collapse and die. Just like Luke did. A lot got kind of close to him. He's like, so what, uh, what did he whisper to you? That I wasn't throwing up because of the Thai food. Because I'm pregnant. I was like. But we're gonna get a baby on Vampire Diaries. So we're having a baby, everyone, on Vampire Diaries. Well, hopefully, I know Rick seems really happy he's gonna be a dad. He's like, this is something that I never thought I would have, and I'm so excited. So I'm like, okay, Joe's here to stay. She's looking at her mom's casket, and she's crying. And then Caroline, uh, and then Elena comes, and she's like, they're ready, and they go out. I loved how they did, like, the whole police officer thing. They put the flag over it. That was, like, really nice and, like, really, like, realistic for them to do, so I really like that. Um, Tyler was kicked out of the funeral. He was drunk because Liv, like, lied to him. And Caroline had sex with Klaus and, like, cheated on Tyler. Everyone was cool with it. Like, I don't get it. Tyler should be, like, over it. And apparently him and Matt are like, hey, we're going to be cops today. Woo. Apparently they're going to be cops. I don't know how that's going to work out, but I would love to hear your guys' opinion on that. I just didn't like how Matt was like, I know all the shit that you're going through. Dead and I'm like, what shit is he going through? He's not going through anything. Like, him and Liv literally dated for two days. <laughs> I literally said that. I didn't even say two days in my notes. I was like, he was with her for two seconds. Damon saying the eulogy, though, I was literally crying, guys. Like, I couldn't deal. I was bawling my eyes out. It was really sad. Caroline singing to her mom. Like, just, like, all the emotions. Like, I, my mascara was running down after redo my makeup. That's how bad it was. And then just, like, what Stefan's, like, looking at her, and he made this decision. He's like, yeah, I really do like her. Like, go talk to her. Then she was like, my humanity switch is off. Goodbye, everyone. We're not friends anymore. And I'm like, okay. But you know what I did? Like, like, okay, you know what? She deserves this little time to, like, deal with herself. Because I loved how she's like, no, it's not fair that only you, Stefan, and Damon get to have your freedom. Like, if you wanted to turn off your humanity and you turn it back on, good for you. But it wasn't fair that I can't. Like, the world doesn't revolve around you three. And I was like, the world doesn't revolve around you three. Like, it's right. You know, let's give the other 
characters a little bump on top. I don't Guys, it's like 2 in the morning. I'm a little delusional right now. I was like on you now and Omega talking to you guys. And I love talking to you guys. And thank you to everyone who like kind of knew who I was. And it was like really cool to talk to you guys. And I just, I loved it. Thank you guys so much. I tried to do that again some other time. It was something new and it was really cool to do it. Bonnie finally was like, alright, I'm ready to go home. No, I can make it, I can make it. So it's flashing back and forth from the one portal to the other portal or whatever. She's running, she's running. And then she finally has her say, go send. And then the mom's like, hey, who are you? it's like, who are they? And then they're back, and I'm like, yay, Bonnie's back, and I'm really excited. And so is Stefan and Damon's mom. I knew it, though. Like, I read the whole situation, like, beforehand, which is like, but once the episode started. But, like, even since last week, I was like, something has to go on with his mom because they're bringing it back up. Like, something has to happen. I think she's going to be a vampire, and the reason they sent her away because she was, like, one of the first vampires or something like that. And, like, it wasn't normal, so they had to, like, send her away. Like, which is sent her away because I was, like, evil. I don't really know. But I don't know what she is, but like I think she was sent away for something good. I'm really excited because they've never mentioned the mom and they finally are mentioning her and she's not dead, which is really, really cool and exciting. And I'm just like really happy. Like the storyline, even though I feel like she might be evil, I don't even know what she could be because there's a reason she got sent away, right? I'm talking way too fast right now. But I don't know. I want to know what you guys think about that. Like, she's back, Bonnie's back. I never thought in my life of lives of vampire diaries that I would ever share Bonnie with Damon. But that reunion hug, guys. I almost jumped out of the TV to join the hug. That's all I'm saying. Like, I was, like, two seconds from jumping into my TV and just hugging them. Like, I love you guys so much. I don't know why. It was just, like, really cute, and I kind of loved it, and I don't really know, guys. I thought it was cute. Like, not that I, like, shipped them together, but that friendship, I was, like, <laughs> love it so much. It was perfect. I think she's going to be with Kai, though. Don't know why I'm reading that, that she might be with Kai. Don't know why I kind of think that. So, like I said, Caroline switched off her humanity and, like, twisted Caroline's neck. It was, like, bye, BZ. <laughs> And uh, that was pretty much it for the episode. The big cliffhanger is that Bonnie and the mom are back. And we don't know where the mom exactly is, but next week I'm so excited for next week. This is like the first episode in a while that I'm like, can it be next week already? But I want to know you guys' favorite quotes and things like that from the episode. You know, I couldn't really pick a favorite quote. I'm going to go with my favorite paragraph this week. I love the eulogy that Damon read to, like, Caroline for, for Liz. You know, and I just thought it was perfect and, like, I think that was my favorite, but I love the way that Kai, like, was being all sneaky about the fact that she was pregnant and he already knew that she was pregnant. And he's like, yeah, you know, I didn't really need your magic because you're just pregnant. That's why you're throwing up. Not the same reason I am because you're actually throwing up. I'm coughing up blood. But, um, I don't know. It was a really good episode and I'd love to hear you guys' opinions on this episode. So comment below. Thank you once again for everyone who was on my You Now and on Omegle and chatting with me. It was really nice. Like, people, like, knew who I was on there and I was, like, really freaked out because I fangirled with the fact that you guys knew who I was. That even makes sense. But thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys next week. Bye.